Hey guys, it's Dr. Martin Smith. I'm a board certified allergist. Let's talk about the new and improved Cetaphil and the ingredient changes and the recent spate of reactions I've seen in patients and seen reported on the internet. So let's compare the ingredients in the old one versus the new and improved version. So the first thing that Cetaphil did is remove pegs from their formula, which is a step in the right direction. They then changed their cleanser from a sulfate-based cleanser, which was sodium laureth sulfate to something called cocomidopropyl betaine or coco betaine. Lastly, they switched out parabens as a preservative and now use sodium benzoate. So if you look at the Amazon reviews of the new and improved formulation, you can see over 651 star reviews with things cited such as allergic reaction, burning, redness, and stinging. I think the two main culprits for these reactions are the sodium benzoate and the cocomidopropyl betaine. In people with sensitive skin, sodium benzoate can cause itching, hives, redness, and swelling. Cocomidopropyl betaine was named allergen of the year as far back as 2014, so this can cause allergic contact dermatitis. It's surprising that the improved version still contains masking fragrance, which is not good for sensitive skin. So there you have it. These are the ingredients that I think are responsible for the reactions people are having to the Cetaphil face wash.